Hi everyone and welcome to Cookie with Cricket. Today I'm bringing you along as me and my cousin who is here with me today. Say hey Lisa. Hey. <laughs> she sent me this recipe. Uh, it is, and don't laugh how I say this word, it is caramel pecan cheesecake dip. It's very easy to make. So what we have is an 8 ounce block of cream cheese that's softened. Uh, I did chop it up, put it in my microwave on low power for about 30 seconds. Because you want to make sure that's good and softened. So we have that. And we have one cup of marshmallow cream or marshmallow fluff. And this stuff is so sticky. Lisa, you need to come scrape this out. <laughs> Alright, then I have a half cup of powdered sugar. And now we're going to add some caramel sauce. Or you can use that I can't pronounce. I know what it is, but I cannot pronounce that. Lisa, do you want to try to attempt? I can't pronounce that either. <laughs> <laughs> so, two tablespoons or more. And I'm probably going to add just a little bit more. And now with our handheld mixer, we're going to blend this all together really well and scrape in the bowl a couple of times. And I'll bring you back. And that's my husband texting me wanting a baby goat. So, <laughs> I'll bring you back. Alright, now I have everything blended. So I'm going to get my serving bowl and we're going to uh, top it with some more caramel and chopped pecans. And I will bring you back. We did add a little bit more of the caramel sauce. You can try it to see how much you want to add. It's really your own taste. Okay, now I'm just going to top mine with a little bit more of my caramel sauce. Add as much or as little as you like. And then I have some really small chopped uh, pecans. And just add some of that on top. Now I'm going to set this in the refrigerator to chill while I get some apple slices and some graham crackers ready. And I'll bring you back to try it. Alright Lisa, come on, let's try it. Uh, this is a great fruit dip. Cookies, whatever you want to dip in it. Uh, I would keep it in the refrigerator until ready to eat. And, uh, and when you get done, keep it in the refrigerator. But uh, let's give it a try. Mm. <laughs> it's good. This is really good. There won't be nothing left. <laughs> this is really, like, really good. Mm -hmm. It's not really sweet, mm -mm. but it makes a great fruit dip, too. I'm going to try a bite with the uh, graham cracker. Until we haven't had lunch yet. <laughs> This would work with any kind of fruit. That's good. Mm -hmm. This will be great for holidays. Even Halloween coming up, Thanksgiving, Christmas, anytime. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Thanks for sending me this recipe, Lisa. Mm -hmm. I have the ingredients listed below. And uh, like I say, it's really easy to make, really easy to throw together. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks again, Lisa. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment because we love hearing from you. And until my next video, I hope you enjoy. Bye, y'all. We're going to have to make some more of this. It's really good. I know. It's excellent, ain't it? Yes. Thanks for sending it to me. You're welcome.